Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about mounting remote file systems over SSH using a program called SSHFS. A typical usage of this would be if you host a website on a VPS and you need to make changes to the website on a regular basis. Mounting the file system locally allows you to launch whatever code editor or IED you wish to edit the site with, and any changes you make will reflect on the virtual server as soon as they're made on your local machine. All right, so let's jump in and see how we set this up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we have it installed on our local computer. So on a Debian-based computer, you're going to install it with sudo apt install sshfs into your password. And I already have it installed on mine, so we don't need to do anything. The second thing we need is we need to make sure we have the SSH uh, daemon installed and running on the remote server. So in my case, I already have it running. So let's log in and take a look at it real quickly. So we're gonna SSH into server 01. And then I have an external SSD mounted at uh, MNT right there, the USB. And inside of that are these files here. So we're going to get those mounted locally. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we need to do is create a mount point for this new file system. So we're going to mount it in slash MNT. So we're going to make a new directory, call it test. Uh, I've already created this. There it is, so test. And then let's change the owner to me. And I own it now. So now we can mount that. So we're going to mount it with sshfs. And then we are going to do mate at 192.168.1.5, which is my server. And then we need to put the directory that we're going to mount, so mnt slash usb. And then we're going to mount that at mnt slash test. And then we should be able to change directory into test and ls slash l. And there it is. Now, the reason it didn't prompt me for a password or for an identity file when I logged in is because I already previously created a connection to it through SSH. So if we take a look, you can see over here on the right, I still have my previous SSH uh, connection open to it. So I reused that connection using SSH multiplexing, which I already have a video on, so you can check that out, how to set it up. But that brings up another good point, because with SSHFS, we can also use the SSH aliases, which we can set up in the .SSH config file. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if we vim into that, so we are going to them into .ssh slash config. We can see here under server one, oops, under server one, I have the host name with the IP address. I have the identity file, preferred authentication, which means it's just going to try that first. It's going to skip a uh, password authentication, the port, and the username. So if I wanted to speed this up a little bit, uh, we can unmount this file using f user mount and then u and then the mount point slash mnt test. We can unmount it. So now if we take a look inside of mnt test, you see that it's empty. So we can speed this up and simplify it with that ssh alias. So we can go ssh fs fs and then server 01. And then of course we still have to have the directory that we're gonna mount, so mnt slash usb, and then the mount point. So we're gonna go mnt test, and now we can take a look in it again, mnt test, and there are my directories. 
using SSHFS, we can also auto mount the uh, file at startup by putting an entry in into our Etsy FS tab file. So let's take a look at that and see how we can do that. So we're going to vim into our Etsy FS tab. And of course, if you're going to make a change to it, you would need to use sudo or be logged in as root. But we're just going to take a look at it. So what we're going to take a look at is right here, this very last line. And this is how you would set it up to auto mount at login time. So this will not read the alias. So you do have to type out the full path and the identity file and the IP address. So we're going to start off with the user that you're going to log in as at the IP address, uh, the mount, uh, the directory that you want to mount, the mount point, and then for the um, file system type, it's going to be the fuse.sshfs. And then it does require all of these options here in order to get it to work. And then, of course, identity file is going to be your SSH key. Uh, if you have a custom port, and then the UID and the GID are going to be unique to your user, and then 00. zero. And of course, I will have a copy of this in the description of the video, but since this is already in, we can quit out of here, and then we can sudo mount slash A, and it should mount it. And then if we take a look again into MNT slash test, you should see that the files are back. And then the same thing if we do sudo uh, umount and then slash mt test, it'll unmount it. And that is how you mount remote files over SSH using SSHFS. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.